3,000 kids in foster care and 3,000 more waiting to be adopted in the state of Texas alone. Tonight, our Abby Loring shares one Waco woman's story. The cookie barn can not only satisfy your sweet tooth, but a portion of the proceeds from the online bakery go towards families who foster and adopt with forever in mind. After selling over 150 dozen cookies in a little over two weeks to raise money for her son's baseball team, Andrea Smedchammer got the idea to start her own business with a goal to bake cookies with purpose. We have a famous cookie recipe in our family, and so um, I advertised and sold cookies to raise money for his baseball and sold a lot and just got encouragement from friends from that of hey you could start a business. The Cookie Barn is an online based cookie shop that donates a portion of the profits towards Encourage One Another, a nonprofit organization that supports foster and adoptive families. My family personally has um, benefited greatly from being a part of Encourage One Another. We are an adoptive and a foster family. The partnering really is just exciting and so as the Cookie Barn grows the exciting part is just um, the support that all of these families have. Smed Shammer founded the Cookie Barn back in March of last year and since then has donated over $2,000 to E1A. When you foster and when you adopt, um, even though there's beautiful things that come with that, there's also can be a lot of heart, heartache and trauma that the children bring along with them due to their circumstances. And sometimes that can be really overwhelming for families. What started as a fundraiser has now turned into a business that ships to clients nationwide. While the cookie barn continues to grow, Smed Chamber will continue to bake cookies and support a cause that sits close to the heart. Maple chocolate chunk, chocolate cream, oatmeal cinnamon, just to name a few of the kinds that you could find at the Cookie Barn. If you'd like to order some, you can head to thecookiebarnwaco.com. Reporting in Waco, I'm Abby Loring, 25 News. Abby, thank you. Well, it's shaping up to be 